Okay, so uh, I have not made a video in a while. <clears throat> Basically, I haven't really been trying anything new. So, uh, no, I haven't really had anything to talk about. I have tried one thing, and I'm just going to talk about it really quick, because honestly, I don't have a lot to say about it. Um, it's just Delta 8 THC, which is just, uh, basically, like, it's just a slightly different version of THC. It's like, you know, there's like, uh, like Delta 9 THC is the version that we are normally, um, like, you know, familiar with. And, you know, I'm not going to go into the deep chemistry or anything, but it's suffice it to say it's basically just like a, uh, different version of THC. And, um... As opposed to some of these other cannabinoids, as I understand it, it's, uh, uh, it's actually something maybe of like a gray area, the legality of it, because it is so close to the normal THC. But anyway, I'm not going to get, you know, too into that. I just want to say basically, you know, like what the effects are. Now, the effects of it could be summed up pretty easily as just, it's like a weaker version of THC. Uh, other than that, I can't really notice any difference. And, you know, a lot of the things that I've talked about, I, I tend to talk about things that have some kind of like a, um, this isn't really a recreational drugs channel. I talk about like, uh, you know, ther things that could be used in some mild over-the-counter therapeutic way, um, you know, or like, you know, some sort of like, have some other sort of like non-recreational thing, like they're, they're like nootropics or they, uh, you know, or, or like supplements. And this thing, you know, I, I can't think, I don't really know, being a weaker version of THC, it's basically, um, yeah, I mean, I, I can't think of any, like, real novel use for it other than what you'd already use THC for. Um, so, I mean, but it is good to have, um, like, you know, just a lighter version because, um, I mean, like, this is how it is even with, like, you know, drugs, like pharmaceutical drugs. You don't always want the strongest thing. So, um, I see how it could be nice, uh, for dosing to make it, you know, give you maybe a, a broader, um, you know, looking at a different sort of, like, therapeutic window or whatever to, to play with, uh, you know, just not sort of, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's good to have those options. Just one more little tool in your toolbox, I guess. Um, but uh, you be, do be careful with it, too, because just because it's something that uh, you're, you know, you can buy over the counter right now, even in um, legal states, apparent, or where, if you're not in a legal state, um, yeah, you, yeah, if you don't live in a legal state, you should be able to still get this stuff. Um, but, uh, I would definitely say to, uh, be careful with it. I took it when I was at work. I had actually previously, well, I, I've taken, I've used it in two ways. Like there's carts, uh, and then, um, I, I've, I've gotten some gummies too. I actually have the gummies right here. These are good. They have like, they taste good. They have like 25 milligrams of Delta 8 per piece and um the carts i don't i don't have much to say at all uh it's just exactly what i said uh but the story with this is i did take uh just two of these gummies at work and i had tried them like on two different occasions when i was at my apartment and it just seemed very mild like so mild that like taking it at work i wouldn't think it was a big deal at all but I think uh, two things here, in hindsight, I'm probably a jackass for this, but, well, I've, as you guys probably know with this stuff, like, in general, like, things of recreational value, whether it be from weed up to, like, uh, you know, even apparently, I've never done this, but, like, with, you know, like opioids, like heroin, uh, you know, you hear about people, like, overdosing a lot more, like, when they're not at home because their body, like, reacts different. You know, you're, you're more sensitive to things. Uh, but anyway, just with, like, normal, like, weed or whatever, that's typically how things are. I feel like, you know, you, smoking at your place isn't the same as going to, like, a more novel environment or not even necessarily a super novel environment. It would just not be at your home. But 
anyway, I think that was part of it. But also, and here's where you would, you'd probably think that I'm a jackass, is I did take it with Agmatine, which I was taking more to manage symptoms of things that I've talked about more on this channel before. But, so I wasn't really thinking of it. I was thinking of it in that way. I was, but Agmatine, uh, as you might know, potentiates pretty much everything. So I should have been aware of that. So between those two together, I took uh, two of these gummies, which at my apartment on a previous occasion didn't seem to do much at all. And I, I got so high, it was like I ate uh, an edible or something. I was just, you know, I was... Uh, that day was a blur, and I, uh, I really did not mean to get that high. I didn't want to be that high. Uh, <coughs> so just, <clears throat> just be careful and um, test things, uh, and then you know, be you know, just be be aware that things are going to be stronger uh, when you're not at home, which. Uh, you know, and yeah, and you know, be careful. With, these are there are two lessons basically that you know probably didn't have to be learned, but I get, apparently I made the mistake, so they did have to be learned. But like, te be sure you know that when you're not at home, things are um, you know beware of that. That things are going to be like a little bit more potent when you're not at home, uh, effectively. And things um, also uh, aside from just Agmatine's effects, just in general, like know that. Be aware that, you know, when you mix things, you know, that, that things are, uh, there's always going to be a potential for interaction. But, uh, yeah, I, I didn't really think I had much to say about this, but um, even this short review is longer than I thought it would be. But, uh, yeah, um, that's Delta 8. Basically just, again, like a weak form of THC, but uh, still strong enough that you should treat it, you know, with some respect, I think essentially the the thing you know can that can get you into trouble is um, thinking that like uh, something you know to not have respect for things can sometimes like even if it like in this case because it is like a weaker version and not you know uh, yeah yeah you know what I say just use your head with drugs and supplements and you know everything that you ingest pretty much so um all right talk to you soon